My name is Rebecca Johnson and I'm head of the Australian Centre for Wildlife Genomics here at the Australian Museum where we do quite a lot of work with the aviation industry. People are often surprised that the Australian Museum works so closely with the aviation industry, but the role that we play is assisting them with identification of the different animals that hit planes. And that happens on average about four times a day in Australia. It's usually not uh, the kind of thing that you hear on the news, but it does happen fairly frequently. It is pretty extraordinary that a bird given the right force can actually tear metal. These engines are made of the highest grade alloy you can possibly get. So the more that we know about the behaviour of wildlife at airports, the more we can work towards minimising the interactions between wildlife and aircraft. In some cases they've even changed flight times to avoid what they know is going to be a busy time for wildlife in the skies. The Australian Museum is involved with the aviation industry in a few interesting ways. We kind of turn them into mini CSI investigators. We send out instructions for how they sample wildlife from aircraft. We send them out kits with gloves and swabs and, and bags so that they can bag up the material and send it back to us. Probably sounds a little unusual to receive some bits and pieces of birds in the post, but this kind of thing is genuinely important to assisting aviation safety in Australia. The kind of work that we do with the aviation industry obviously has real implications for improving safety in the aviation industry, but also it, these things do cost money. As soon as a bird hits a plane, the, there is a runway inspection required. It potentially does cost money if it causes damage and absolutely it costs money if a delay is incurred. Birds and aircraft have to live happily ever after together. We have to share the skies. We always have. In fact, birds were here before aircraft. And I don't think anyone wants to imagine a life without birds and probably no one wants to imagine a life without aircraft. So I think that the more we work towards it, the more we can safely share the skies together.